la pendule fait tic tac tic tic Les oiseaux du lac pic pac pic pic Glou 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 font tous les dindons Et la jolie cloche ding ding dong Mais boum, quand notre cœur fait boum Tout avec lui dit boum Et c'est l'amour qui s'éveille Hello again everybody, welcome back to Fujits Blitz And today we're going to look at the AMX Chasseur de Chars Or the AMX CDC The French Tier 8 Medium Tank Which is Premium Tank And it's the French Dracolo It's currently in the stores Again, because it's been in the stores previously It was in the stores for the Black Friday But what is it about this tank? Well, there it is there in all its glory And, you know, it's basically a Tier 8 Dracula but better. I mean, this tank is amazing. There's no other word for it. So, damage, it will knock out 225. Rate of fire is not that great, but it's not that bad. Penetration is pretty good. Armor, well, there isn't any. Speed, fantastic. And rotation is really fantastic too. Hit points, it's got 1,450. Armor, I am not even going to talk about it. There is none. Camo, well, the camo rating is just below average. DPM is 2,264, which is pr pretty good for this type of tank. Reload time, just shy of six seconds. Penetration on your AP, you're going to get 223. On your APCR, 272. Damage, you're going to knock out 225 on your AP. Aim time, just shy of three seconds. Uh, uh, depression, well, it's 10 degrees, which is pretty good. And this is where it gets to the point. Speed, going forward, you're going to get 60 out of it. Reverse 20 gives you an average speed of 52. Well, although that's because I've got other bits and bobs equipment-wise. Traverse speed, not bad. I mean, this is a good tank. Let's have a look at this armor. <laughs> well, what armor? There is no armor on this thing. I mean, the reason why it's so fast is because it has zero armor. And you need to understand that. I mean, this is it against an IS-3. And as you can see... Wow, it's a big green apple. Simple, but you need to know that. I mean, and the thing about this tank is mobility. Mobility and super accurate gun. It's basically the Leopard 1 of tier 8. It is a fantastic tank. It's a tricky tank to play, however. I mean, look at this gun depression. 10 degrees on this thing is spectacular. And it's got a super duper zoom gun. Now, this tank is currently in the stores. As I said, it's been in the stores before, but uh, this time it's going for two packages. Package number one is 7,500 gold for a tank and a garage slot. That's not bad, but it comes with no equipment. Spend a little bit more, say 9,000 gold, and you get the slot of the tank, the Liberty camouflage, all the equipment unlocked, and some dog avatar. Yeehaw! So, you know... It's, it's worth that extra investment in the gold, in my opinion, purely because you're going to be getting the equipment unlocked. If you spend the 7,500, then you're going to have to spend quite a bit of credit on getting the equipment. And like all tanks, with the equipment unlocked, it's much better. I mean, this is a beautiful tank as it is. I mean, I'm, I'm not going to set the world on fire here. I'm tussling with this IS. But... I mean, it's the mobility on this thing, the penetration on this thing, the damage output on this thing is fantastic. The thing that lets it down, armor. It has zero armor, guys. And, you know, this is not a brawling tank, but I've just brawled with that IS. And thankfully, I came off okay. I've done 1,300 damage. I've got 300 hit points left. You know, it's not a wise move to tussle in this thing because it's just not. But look at the gun. The gun is just super accurate. And, and that's the thing about this tank, mobility and gun. It's got great gun depression. And, you know, if you like these ultra-fast mediums, like the Dracula, uh, then you're going to love this tank. And, you know, this is a formidable tier 8. And with the amount that it's going for at the moment in the store, 9,000 with all the equipment unlocked, well, uh, you'd be silly if you turned your nose up at that. I mean, don't forget there's a tank going in the store at the moment, the AMX 30B, which is two tiers higher than this. It's a similar type of tank. That's going for 25,000 gold. This thing is cheap as chips, as uh, David Dickerson would say. Okay, I get blasted at the end, but I get a second class, and I enjoyed the time there. Now, the thing I like about this tank, I mean, I'm not a great light-medium player, to be fair. I'm more of a heavy TD-type player. 
but I do love this tank because you can throw it around the battlefield and once you understand what this tank is all about boy you can have a shed load of fun in it and like I've said in previous videos and like Bushka and all the other CC's Bushka, Meezy, Martin, Daga, Ammonets, Gates etc etc they all say the same thing guys know the tank's pros and cons and play the tank not the tier and, and that is the best advice anybody could ever give you so we know this tank has no armor we know it's got a great gun we know it's got fantastic mobility and we know it dishes out really good damage in quite a short space of time what does that tell you well that tells you don't front bloody line it it, it, it tells you to you know do what you do in a Leo 1 if you've got a Leo 1, or what you do in those light tanks. Spot, then run away and use the gun to snipe. And that is what you need to do in this thing. If you don't, you're going to get hurt. If you frontline it, you're going to get pasted. If you try to brawl in it, you're not always going to come off like I just did in that with that IS. It's it's that sort of tank. I mean, the gun is super fantastic, but look at that. I mean, the T26 gets one shot on me and it goes straight through. And, and that's how it's going to be. But I can waste him now, maybe. Yes, I can. Who came off worse? Well, I didn't exactly come off. Wow, there. I lost a third of my hit points and he only took two shots in me. But I got rid of him. And now I've got to think, what am I, what am I going to do next? I, I, I'm waiting for the tanks to pop before I make my next move. Because the thing about this tank, as I said, you've got to be very mindful that it's got zero armor, but a great gun. I mean, look at this. I mean, miss that. <laughs> but, you know, I'll give it another bash and see if I can get him this time. Yes. 230 straight into the side of him. Now he's been tracked. Can I get any more into him? He's not spotted me. Yeah, I can get another 200 into him. I've only done shy of a thousand damage here. I've taken one kill. I've not done much else. But now I can smack the uh, the VK over there. Yeah, give him a bit of a smack. Hopefully somebody else is going to take out the AMX while I deal with these. Give him a smack on a on a on a peek and shoot. And this is why this tank is great. I'm now up to almost 1,500 damage. Now up to 1,500 damage. Well, I'm just over 1,600 damage, actually. And I'm just going to sit here and use this mobility to peek and boom. This is what you need to do in this tank, guys. You need to be completely aware that it has zero ammo, but a great gun. There's a Conway. Look at that. I mean, that's like a laser. I've smacked the Conway top of the hatch. Now I'm going to drop down, use the mobility to get around the back of them, and use that gun depression, if I can, to give them a hard time. Now, there's the Conway there, there's a VK there. Oh, there's a Louver as well. What can we do? Can we smack the Louver? Yep, we can track him, though. Uh, he's pretty difficult to pen front on in most tanks. Not to worry, my reload is much better than his. I can go up again, use this gun depression, and smack him. I used to use his PCR just to make sure I do get some form of damage into him. And this is all I'm going to do. I'm going to hang around here and try and smack them as much as I can. This tank is not underrated. It's not OP, but boy, is it good fun. Hello, boom, take a big shot into him. I mean, look at the gun depression, look at the accuracy. The Conway is now gone. Was it a Conway? <laughs> I don't know. Now I can concentrate on the Louvre. Keep smacking him. Oh, he, I overextended a little bit. He gets to smack me. Can I now take him out? Yes, I can. Boom, he's gone. One tank left. I've done 2,700 on damage. Just got one tank left to go. Can I get the AMX? Yeah, the AMX is easy kill. Three kills, 2,800 odd damage. Fantastic tank. I mean, I only get a first class in it. In fact, I've never mastered this tank, but as I said, I'm not the best light stroke medium light player. This is my good friend Critical Hit rolling out in his AMX CDC quite a while back, actually. This was uh, back when they released it in the Black Friday sales. And he's rolling out here on Naval Frontier. And he's going to do exactly the same thing. He's going to use that mobility, he's going to use that accuracy, and he's going to use that gun depression to really get the most out of this tank. And look at what he's doing here. He's, he, you know, he's, he's waiting for them to pop. He's hanging around these ridges so he can use that gun depression. Here we go. There's an RU. Oh, 
can't really get in it onto him. Pop around the corner. There's an IS-3. Can I shoot the IS-3, he says. Maybe. Look at the accuracy. Oh, he just backs away just as he takes the shot. So, it happens. You know, you're not, and not every shot's going to pen. And not every shot's going to be successful. He knows the IS-3 is there, though. So he's just going to hang around here, wait for him to clear, come back onto the map. Oh, there's a Camp 70. There's another CDC. There's the IS-3 again. Can he get him this time? Oh, it's a bounce! <laughs> There's me saying it's a great gun with great penetration. So, he's decided, oh well, bugger this for a game of soldiers. I'm now going to have to, you know, change my viewpoint and see what I can do this way. So he's not going to go straight up there. I mean, that would just be suicidal. He's going to try and get around the back of the IS. Oh, there's a Camp 70. Maybe he can get shots into him instead. Using the gun depression, using the slope, not doing what the T-54 did. And, and this is the thing, he's keeping polish down, he's got cover around him, he's got the RU pushing, can he get anything into the RU? He's already done 452 damage, he's going to smack the RU up. A little bit here, boom, there we go, ram him, yeah, you can get a good ram, 500 damage there. Smack the RU again, yep, takes him out. Now he can go back and concentrate on the IS-3, which is a one-shot, if he can get so he can just, oh no, he's left him on 57 hit points, takes him big smack from somebody else not to worry is that's his main concern that borsig he takes a massive 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 roll into the borsig he can get him again oh no he can't the uh, rocks got in the way but th th see how you play this tank i mean there you go borsig is now gone 1700 damage look how he's playing it he's gun depression he's using the mobility he's using the slope this is what you need to do now the is3 boom gone one two thousand and twenty two damage and they're all there look gun depression again oh it's brilliant now he can use the mobility to get out of dodge he does that he gets back onto the gun depression side onto another slope smacks 224 into the saint 7 one and this is what you can do in this i mean this is he's not frontlining it and this is what you need to remember with this thing it's not a tank that you can stick on the front line and brawl him this is a tank that is perfectly suited as a sniper and it is i mean look at that engine fire knocks him knocks him over 500 damage now he's up to 3550 there's the amx doesn't get him but he you know he's two against two we know there's a amx cdc and a jag panther 2 still left to go and they're up there now he could push he's still got the hit points to do that the Jag Panther 2 can hurt him, however, so he's reevaluated, and he's decided, well, maybe they could come round this way. So he's going to plus, you know, press round the sides here, go up the big slope, use the gun depression to his maximum advantage, because that 10 degrees of gun depression is absolutely brilliant. He's telling everybody, I'm going to spot. There's the Jack Panther 2. Boom. See, Jack Panther 2 knocks 400 and something into him. But he gets a nice shot into the Jack Panther. What about the CDC? Takes the CDC. He's now done 3,300, sorry, 3,799 damage. Jack Panther 2, he's now done 4,015 damage. And one more shot. And the JP2 is gone. Kill number 6. 4,048 damage. That is how you play the CDC, guys. It is a fantastic tank. It is in the stores right now. And 9,000 gold for all the equipment unlocked, etc., etc., is, in my opinion, quite a good deal. Anyway, that's been the CDC. I've been Fujit. I'd like to thank Critical Hit for kindly sharing his replay. Um, by all means, comment, like, and all the other stuff below. If you haven't yet, please press subscribe. Nice thing to do. Makes me happy. Costs you nothing. Um, if you've got any decent replays, send them to me, fujitsblitz at gmail.com, or join my Discord server and upload them there. And until the next time, I will say, stay safe out there, have fun on the battlefield, and happy tanking, because you know what? That's what it's all about having fun and being happy.